today's video is on eucalyptus oil as a pesticide, an alternative to uh, glyphosate and uh, all your Roundup and other just freaking horrible poisonous chemicals. Now, um, I'm in Australia, so I'm going to be using eucalyptus oil. Uh, however, um, if I was in, say, uh, India, I might use neem oil. If I was in um, uh, the Northern Hemisphere, I'd probably be using pine or cedar, something like this. Um, and I'm sure every country, it's basically whatever your dominant canopy tree is, that tree has tannins and alkaloids in the leaves that will actually suppress the growth of anything that's really not native or, uh, you know, not meant to be there. Now, about, oh, what was that, two minutes ago, I put some um, eucalyptus oil on this leaf uh, right here, right, this guy here, and that's already started to crinkle over and, and basically blacken. So now I'm just going to do this for you and we can time how long this takes because that was less than a minute, okay? So I'm just going to do a couple drops, okay? Onto, I'll just zoom out a bit. Onto this right here. Right. Oop, one, two, three drops on that side, one drop there. Just put a drop there. I'm just going to let that happen. We're going to use that as a control over here and these leaves over here as a bit of a control too. I'm going to go and sit in the shade while we let that happen. Now this happens so fast that within maybe one to two minutes you'll see a result. And of course, the plant being um, tested here is Lantana camara. Now you can already see the colour of the uh, leaves there starting to darken. And uh, what this is doing is the oil is, um, is suffocating the um, stomates on the leaves. And it's also drawing in that oil deeper into the plant, into the leaves. Now if you cut the base of the lantana, you can apply this directly onto the cut and the plants um, flow them. The uh, downward pulling tubes of cells will, um, will draw the eucalyptus oil deeper into the root system and eventually kill the entire plant from the roots. Uh, other alternatives are tea tree oil as well. Uh, of course, though, the tea tree is um, more expensive in oil because it's less abundant um, a leaf. And you can see that darkening up and the leaves are curling over. And the one just over here, you can see that's already darkening quite a lot. And I didn't even drop any oil onto these top ones. It's just that it's absorbing in through here and getting over to, over to that leaf too. And you can see the same sort of result on this one here. Even though we didn't put any oil on that one, it's still absorbing through because it pulls down here and comes to the sides. Now, I was curious to run another experiment on whether or not you can use the red kino, K-I-N-O, or sap, or the eucalyptus tree, um, for much the same process. Um, the sap of the eucalyptus is antiviral, antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal, so you can use it to cure things like, um, to heal things like tinea, um, cold sores I used it this uh, season to cure a cold sore. And it's also, um, it also has astringent properties, the eucalyptus uh, kino. So it's um, uh, good for stopping bleeding. It makes like a band-aid. You have to add like a, a droplet of water to a little bit of crushed up um, kino. And then apply it onto the wound. Those leaves will never grow back. They will be completely dead now. So there you go. There's, there's the results right there. And that was, um, what was that, like four droplets of, of eucalyptus oil. Now, of course, you can get water-soluble eucalyptus oil. Um, put that in a spray bottle and shake it and spray it as well, get better coverage. 
Um, otherwise, if you have just this standard um, eucalyptus oil that's non-water soluble, you can add that to water as well and then shake that before you spray it. Um, you'll get just as good a result. So, I, think, I reckon I'll leave it there. I think we've pretty much made our point. There you go. And even the control leaf that we didn't touch uh, still has transfer right there, the darker spots there. So, eucalyptus oil as a pesticide on Lantana Camara.